Hey guys, this is David. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, I finally got a uh, in-car mount so I could bring my other camera uh, inside the car to just do some driving around, things like that. And I hope to test some outdoor, or outdoor, <laughs> some nighttime driving here in the very near future. So we're going from the office to home. Uh, it's a Monday, according to the, this place, it's 107 degrees. I don't think it's quite that hot, but I know it's hot. So, anyway, let's get going. So, for those of you guys haven't seen my channel, I have a 2021 Model Y Performance. And I have just over 5,000 miles on it, so I'm going to probably do a 5,000 mile review uh, here in the very near future. But uh, I tell you what, <laughs> uh, I love this car. <laughs> it's it, it every day I smile. So for anyone, any of you guys that are thinking about buying it, not sure, I tell you what, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Of course, I like performance, and um, I like to go fairly fast. I don't speed. I just may um, accelerate fast. <laughs> And I don't care about top end as much either. So most of my driving is city streets. I do a little bit of highway driving, but not a whole lot. But uh, yeah, car is a lot, a lot of fun. You know, but I'm not gonna lie. There's some quirks about it that I still understand why it is the way it is. For instance, um, the rear hatch. I know you can adjust it one time for one setting. Well, problem is my stupid garage door I've said this in previous videos, it's not very tall. So when I go outside of my garage, when I go to the gym or to the store or wherever, and I'm, I'm raising the, the back hatch, I hit my head almost every time unless I push push it up. So, so annoying. Um, let me think here. What else did I have that was kind of weird the other day? Oh, you're, had, you get in your car, it's been sitting and I think all I did was get in and put my foot on the brake and it popped the front trunk or frunk. <laughs> that was kind of unusual. So uh, actually that's happened a couple of times. Um, and then used to, uh, the rear passenger window would come down an inch or so uh, when I washed the vehicle. Now I didn't take it to an auto wash, I hand washed it with my own power washer and I got videos for that too. But, uh, but yeah. Now, it hasn't done it lately, uh, which is super cool. I don't know if it fixed itself over an update. I know some people said uh, you can go into um, settings and recalibrate the window, but um, I never really did that, and it just it just stopped. It hadn't done it the last several times I, um, that I uh, washed the car. So, um, I got an update recently. Um, but I'm not a big gamer, so <laughs> I think the only major thing that came out on the update was uh, I got a new game. Um, I haven't even really looked at it yet. Um, so, you know, for those of you, and how I know that probably more you, uh, more people who probably supercharge, um, probably use those, you know, features like the the games and the theater and all that stuff. I'll be honest, I. I I supercharged one time, one time, and that was the day I bought the car because I had to uh, drive from Kansas uh, to Oklahoma. So me and my wife uh, supercharged and we played around with some of the features, but we didn't stick around too long. Uh, I think we charged twice, so we didn't have to stick around too long for the different uh, for the different chargers to really do a whole lot. So I think 20, 30 minutes at the most. So, but uh, man. Now, my latest addition to the car is the mud flaps, and I did an actual install video, and luckily, um, I had no issues. I didn't, uh, I know the, I've seen one one other video, and uh, he uh, he had a, one of the bolts break uh, on the back, I think it was the back driver's side, uh, on the rear wheel underneath uh, to install that mud flap. I did not have that issue, thank goodness, mine was, pretty cut and dry it was it was pretty simple pretty fast I think I did the whole thing in a short period of time so 
Now, how many of you guys get uh, people who mess with you, um, you know, other Mustangs, Mercedes, whatever. For some reason, on the way to the gym early in the morning, I get so many Mustangs and other cars that just mess with me. I don't know why. <laughs> so, but it, again, guys, the, the car is a lot of fun. I only get, now I, I charge every other day. Um, and if you heard that, that was my warning. I probably have it set on medium. Um, it's always letting me know if I'm going too fast to the car in front of me. Which is kind of cool. Sometimes they am paying attention and sometimes they're really not. <laughs> but, um, so anyway. Um, so I got sidetracked from the, uh, from the warning. So, but, um, but anyway. Um, oh, I know, the, the range. So I, I charge um, usually every other day. I don't always charge every day because I, I only, sometimes I only drive maybe 50 miles in the whole day. Because uh, I do have another vehicle I drive for work, so I don't typically drive this around all day long. And uh, but I have the the supercharger, or not supercharger. I have a charger at my house. And um, but my range used to be at my ninety percent at two two seventy two seventy two was my highest. I think I saw it in my ninety percent range. So I usually get ninety percent or I charge ninety percent. So I used to get two seventy two seventy two. And now I only get, um, you know, like 255 to 262. Um, so uh, I'll have to read upon or read it maybe in the, in the manual or ask some questions on the forums or something to see uh, what other people say. Or if you guys know anything, leave those in the comments down below. As far as is there any way for my 90% range to go back up? Because it seems like it's, keep, it's coming down and my car's, you know, not that old six months old maybe um 5, miles just a little over 5,000 miles so anyway uh not a huge deal but i mean obviously if it keeps going down at this rate it could be a huge deal where my 90 percent is at you know 230 and that would be terrible i think uh it'd be nice if it stayed at you know 255 260 plus so for my 90 percent because that's generally what i charge i never charge 100 percent because i don't don't go on trips so um again guys I got some other videos coming up. I'm working on the one with the headlight comparisons, uh, but man, um, and then I'm, I'm working on another review video too. So like I said earlier, but love the, love the car have, I don't, there's, there's always going to be some negativity about any car and there's always going to be things that just quite aren't right. But for the most part, the speed never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love to pass people when they are going so slow. <laughs> it just, I mean, getting it. Now I have to watch myself. I will warn you guys for those of you who've never had a car quite this fast. When you do get on it, there's been a few times that um, I almost found the, the the bumper of the car in front of me <laughs> before I got over. So uh, it does take a little bit of getting used to. Um, not that this is the fastest car ever, but it is pretty quick. And so uh, it still surprises me every day when I get on it, whether I'm on the highway or whether I'm on the city streets. So, uh, again, guys, I'm gonna make this real short. This is just a little trip on the way home and hopefully get some other videos coming out for you guys very, very soon. If you guys have any comments or questions uh, about anything in my video, um, please let me know. And uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.